remembering appointments, paying our bills on time, remembering special events and people's names. These are all things we take for granted every day. But as we age, these simple activities can become increasingly more difficult. Doctors say that as the brain ages, mild memory lapses are a normal part of growing older. But when is memory loss normal forgetfulness or something more serious? The normal signs of aging would include brief episodes of memory loss where you might forget someone's name that you meet at the market. Um, you might walk into the other room and forget what you were going there to get. Um, you might temporarily forget a phone number, but they're not significant memory lapses. With mild cognitive impairment, the memory problems are, become actually a functional cognitive problem where you might have difficulty uh, balancing a checkbook, um, you might get to the store and forget in part how to get home again. Um, it would be a functional problem more than just a memory problem. Statistics show that one out of two people who have symptoms of mild cognitive impairment will eventually develop dementia or Alzheimer's disease, a degenerative brain disorder that has enormous financial and social impacts and has become the seventh leading cause of death in the nation. Approximately one out of two patients who have mild cognitive impairment will ultimately go on to develop full-blown Alzheimer's disease. And Alzheimer's disease is one of the most common concerns adults have, and it has a tremendous impact on the individual as well as the family members and, and society. The financial impact affects both the family and the individual to the tune of approximately $5,000 a month in this area. Uh, that is the cost of housing somebody in a facility when they're unable to live at home any longer. The impact to society then can be calculated by multiplying the number of individuals with Alzheimer's times that number, and you get in on the order of billions of dollars of annual expense in caring for people with Alzheimer's disease. The emotional pain that comes with Alzheimer's is shared by both the individual patient, who is afraid of losing their ability to function autonomously, and the family members um, increase their concern as they see their family member declining and realize that they're going to have to spend more and more time caring for their family member and that directly impacts their life. Treating patients with signs of early memory loss can pose several challenges for healthcare providers. Acting too soon or waiting too long to address the symptoms of MCI is a dilemma many physicians face. In addition, doctors must also address the fact that memory loss in Alzheimer's disease is now the most feared diagnosis among older Americans, making conversation about early memory loss an often difficult issue. The biggest challenge is getting patients to acknowledge that in fact there is a deficit that is beginning to show up. And we all live to a certain extent in denial and when it comes to the signs of aging we all want to remain youthful and memory is uh, one of the first things to go as we age and that's uh, concerning to people. But once you bridge that gap and you get the patient to acknowledge that there's a problem, then it's a matter of telling them what the treatment options are and uh, showing them that while there are risks to treatment, there are certainly a lot of benefits to early intervention. With no major improvements in the treatment of Alzheimer's and dementia over the last few decades, doctors have had few options in treating the symptoms of MCI. Most people have heard that using your mind will keep you from losing your mind. From the standpoint of the vitamin therapy that is becoming better known and people have been using vitamins for ages to try and prevent that uh, mild cognitive impairment. But new insights into the nutritional needs of the brain as it ages has led to the development of a new therapy option for the symptoms of MCI. Serifolin NAC is a safe, first-line option to manage the metabolic needs of early memory loss. Serifolin is a great vitamin combination of vitamin B12 in the form of methylcobalamin, a form of folic acid, which is L-methylfolate, and N-acetylcysteine and it is a vitamin that enhances brain function in most patients who take it. 
It improves for most people things such as initiation, motivation, alertness, concentration, sociability, and an overall sense of well-being. Research shows that two out of three cognitively impaired patients have a compromised ability to get folate into the brain. Because the active dietary ingredient in serifolin NAC, L-methylfolate, is seven times better absorbed than folic acid, it is immediately available to the brain, giving patients their best chance at maintaining cognitive function and improving memory performance. Folic acid is a synthetic form of folic acid that is different from what is found naturally. And the natural form of folic acid is actually L-methylfolate. The L-methylfolate is the only form of folic acid that can cross the blood-brain barrier and get into the central nervous system to be utilized to produce the neurotransmitters serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, and acetylcholine. So it's essential that you have L-methylfolate as part of the diet in order to prevent uh, the mild cognitive impairment decline and even ultimately prevent the shrinking or atrophy of the brain. Clinical studies of patients prescribed serifolin NAC show significant improvement in memory and cognitive function after just 12 weeks. The PET scan shown here is that of a 62-year-old woman with mild cognitive impairment. Clinically, she was found to be depressed. She was withdrawing from patients, uh, from other um, family members and friends. She was forgetting to turn the stove off. She was forgetting how to find her way home. The salient features to note are that in the temporal parietal areas, there is very little in the way of yellow coloring. The yellow color on a PET scan connotes high metabolic activity. In this follow-up scan, there is increased intensity of yellow in the temporal parietal areas bilaterally, signifying an increase in the memory function in this patient. Clinically with this patient, her mini mental status exam returned to normal. She was able to visit with her friends without fear. She was able to find her way home and she no longer was leaving the stove unattended. So the clinical improvement was quite dramatic after 12 weeks of taking the serifolin NAC on a daily basis. For many patients, serifolin NAC has proven to be the right balance of performance and tolerability. I actually began to notice signs of early memory loss about a year ago when I was having trouble remembering things that uh, normally would be right at the tip of my tongue, gone. I noticed about five years ago and at first it didn't um, bother me too much and then as it progressed it was scary and I was having trouble remembering names and I felt um, just kind of uh, my mind felt real cloudy. I believe I noticed the first signs of memory loss uh, probably about four years ago, and I think it really kind of jumped out at me when I had uh, gotten a new job, and that new job posed a lot of new challenges and a lot of new demands, and uh, I was seemed like I was struggling in this. I'm not sure that I was losing my memory, but I would, uh, you know, I would perhaps see someone and it would take me like maybe three to five seconds to, to focus in on their name. Not all the time, just every once in a while. Uh, Serifolin has managed my symptoms by uh, actually making me a lot sharper. I uh, seem to be able to recall things much easier than I did before. It's, it's just a tremendous improvement. My mood is better. It's just overall noticeable difference for me. Serifolin has managed my symptoms, uh, first of all, by a sense of well-being. Uh, it's given me an alertness. Uh, I'm able to multitask, and I couldn't do that for before. And just a clarity of mind that I, I have a hard time explaining to anyone. The first week I noticed the, uh, a sense of well-being. The second week I noticed the memory just really getting better. So within two weeks, which I know is unusual, but I did, and I had no side effects whatsoever. Never have. The serifolin I find is very tolerable. Um, like anything over the years, uh, you worry about adding something new to what you're taking, and I was you know, concerned that 
Am I going to have some side effect or am I going to have a weight gain or weight loss or any other thing? And I noticed with serifolin it was just uh, like part of my daily regimen and I didn't notice any change whatsoever. Um, I've never had one single side effect or anything from it and it's, uh, I just have to say that it's just a tremendous product and I'm very, very glad that I'm taking it. The, the extraordinary thing about serifolin, if you look at the biochemistry of it, is that it maintains the cognitive function that you have. You know, it's not going to give you anything, but it's going to maintain the potential that you have so that, uh, you know, you can have good quality life and that's what we all aim for. Everyone experiences moments of forgetfulness, but if you have a family history of Alzheimer's disease or are concerned about your memory function, it may be time to talk to your doctor about mild cognitive impairment and serifolin NAC. With mild cognitive impairment, there are treatments available that are non-toxic, and it is found that by using some vitamin combinations, such as one called serifolin NAC, which has L-methylfolate, a particular type of folic acid, methylcobalamin, a particular type of vitamin B12, and N-acetylcysteine, which is a precursor to acetylcholine, that you can actually slow the atrophy of the brain or the shrinking of the brain that occurs over time. It is not a treatment for Alzheimer's. Serifolin NAC is indicated for mild cognitive impairment. To find out more about treating early memory loss without the risks, please visit www.serifolinnac.com.